<laughs> and he, he, he tweeted his own yeah. meme. He said, one game, no sleeves. Oh, well, that's weird. I got a test tomorrow all of a sudden. And he did. He got oh, tested. Yeah. Got one test a year. Yeah, there it's is. It's kind of like, if you, just, if you fail that, it's more like an IQ test, they say, right? I think everyone else who was in a position to know was just turning a blind eye because it was super beneficial for the sport. See, well, yeah, so-and-so so works out eight times a day for seven hours and it's yeah. just, just, They're just a, build a muscle machine. every hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gossip Boys, Topic Thunder, soon to be maybe thick and creamy episodes on the way too. We're thinking about a food show. I gotta bring that special drink that I'm not gonna talk about. I know, we gotta yet. line them up and get yeah, it all wait, rocking and rolling. Wait, what kind of special <laughs> Yeah, it looks it looks, it, looks, it looks sus. <laughs> no, it looks disgusting. Uh, we're back again. New topics. Be sure to give a subscription, thumbs up, share this with your friends. Uh, Dean Sidoris, Captain Kilos, the one and only Jim McD, 3SB.co, and Kevlar Kai, the sickest FPS player this side of the Mississippi. Wow. If, if you don't know FPS, Google yeah, it. Yeah, he uses, Nerd a, out. He uses aimbot. That's oh, he does. Yeah, He's a yeah, cheater. Yeah. He's I a cheat. cheater. I do cheat. <clears throat> Topic we were actually just talking about uh, over here pre-recording that's popped in my mind is in our niche of fitness uh, powerlifting bodybuilding crossfit's actually a hot topic right now they were talking about um, steroid use in the games and how that just kind of gets shuffled under the rug uh, by the organization which <laughs> i've said for years yeah. uh, <laughs> but in our sports in our niche of youtube etc steroids i feel like have gotten um, more accepted People just kind of, whether they turn an eye, whether we want to talk about legitimacy in a sport, uh, morals of it, or just general view on the thing. Um, but you talk about real sports. You talk about baseball, football, basketball, whatever. And sorry, powerlifters, not a real sport. Not a real sport. It's, uh, a, it's a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> you guys kind of matter. Organized hobby. Um, and then it's still noted as like the devil, right? If you use steroids and you're in the NFL, you're a fucking cheater. You're a fucking this and that. Mm-hmm. What about the average gym goer? How many? I bet you the large percentage of steroids use uh, is used by the average gym bro that's trying to get chicks or just trying to look better. Read it in a magazine. Why is there such a separated uh, view or moral on steroids mm. from topic to topic? Like that makes no sense to me, right? Like if someone does cocaine, whether it's it's Tom Cruise. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan or one of us, it's all kind of be like, ah, that's not so cool. Like, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. buddy, he does coke. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it's all kind of looked that's, at a little like, bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, I was thinking. It, I think it looks a little bit negative, regardless of who it is. Oh, I don't. I mean, it depends. I don't know. It I, depends where you are. In maybe, the world. maybe that's just me then yeah, too. Yeah, but for drug sure. drugs for me, regular like recreational drugs or, or hard drugs for me, it looks the same no matter who does it. Right? Michael Jordan's on heroin. Tom Cruise is on heroin. Dean does heroin. You're like, no, that's pretty lame. Um, at least what I think. Yeah. Uh, but steroids, depending on who does it. The view is so different. Is it because of the uh, potential like uh, advantage, physical advantage in sport? You want it to be like an, you want to see an even playing field when it's just someone doing it recre- recreationally. It just doesn't matter as much. Maybe I don't know. I think there's such an emotional attachment on the sports side of it. Like it's I don't know why. I, I mean, I, I could see why. Yeah, I could see why. Like Mark Wire and like you know all that stuff, and then um, whoever came out with the book, I forget. I always forget. The Balco. So, Book talking about the game of shadows. That one was it. Yeah, yeah. That uh, uh, exactly. Yeah, I yeah. want to file a dispute on this whole thing right here because I don't think that people care about steroids in football. I don't think that people care at all. I think it's um, probably less uh, brought up. I think they care. I think it's it's uh, people don't know. I think we all know things. And well, football think has things. to be the most used steroid probably. sport there is, right? But probably I bet you. So. But I, I don't think Gen Pop knows that. Yeah, but you can get you can pop for weed in the NFL. Like but they're, they're pretty strict on everything. But there's only like one test a year, isn't there? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. The you, no, no, like, you get tested regularly. Like randomly picked, really? Like yeah, if they, they if they look at you, if they look at you and they're like, hey, like that was the like, joke uh, this week. Uh, Miles Garrett, uh, uh, defensive end for the uh, Cleveland Browns, he played his first game with no sleeves, and he's fucking jacked. Yeah, he looks <laughs> and he, he, he tweeted insane, his own yeah. meme. He said, "One game, no sleeves." Oh, that's weird. I got a test tomorrow. All of a sudden, and he did. He got <laughs> oh, tested. Yeah. No, because it does work like that. Yeah. I, just in baseball, I had a buddy. Like he was a pitcher. And he he just gained a lot of size over the off season. He just got huge. He learned how to lift and like stuff like that. And they came in literally first day. They go, Justin. He's like, Yeah. So like, come back here. We literally have a test for you. like on the spot. It's not like like oh sweet yeah man like glad, glad to see you. Okay, maybe this could help us out. You know like no, it's like no no no. no. You, you're about to pop. We know you are. I thought with uh, see this is where you know I don't really know the truth here, but I thought always football was like there's always this like saying that goes around that you know they got one test a year. Yeah, and there it's is. Kind of like. 
if you just, if you fail that, it's more like an IQ test, they say, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know that what day the test is before the season starts. Like everybody's kind of gets clean around then. Then it's kind of fair game. I do. Uh, I don't know that the intricacies of testing in any pro sport, and I don't know if any of us do. Kyle obviously has a good experience baseball wise, but until you're in the locker room, right? Like who oh. knows what's going on with the Cleveland Browns oh. and who's do the testing, who's not doing the testing, right? Yeah. But I do think football has. I don't know if the right term's an advantage, but lifting has always been tied to football forever yeah. mm -hmm. right and same thing with the power clean in the ste gym, right? steroids are tied to lifting um and so i know firsthand a lot of buddies that played high school football and they were very decent and so they hopped on steroids to get yeah. uh, just above decent um and so that culture is a part of it i think and maybe that spread but i think jim i think we're just too in the niche that we all kind of know or assume that something's going on with football because your body can't look that way and take that kind of beating yeah, and yeah. feel good but i don't know if gen pop does i don't know because that's that's where we were with baseball though yeah you know back in the back in the home run sort of derby era there where, where everyone was chasing records um Magu early 2000s e. mcguire right? sosa yeah. and then barry bonds um i think that people were i think gen pop was naive and i think that uh yeah i think everyone else who was in a position to know was just turning a blind eye because it was super beneficial for the sport well i think well, it was you, the most you, popular sports probably ever been yeah i think you say similar thing for crossfit if you've been in fitness and, and powerlifting and bodybuilding just feel a little dirtier mm -hmm. uh than crossfit and a lot of people that it's almost expected a lot of people found lifting through crossfit so mm -hmm. it's their first introduction to the barbell yeah okay. where if you're in this nitty-gritty of lifting we've always kind of said like yeah man like what they put their body through and how they look for the amount of aerobic exercise they're doing you can't keep that amount of muscle it's yeah. just not possible for a lot of these athletes that i've seen like it's literally physiologically not possible it, it, it so would, we knew but yeah. people in the crossfit community probably didn't oh no like, oh they would watch like oh they're on tnt yeah, today i'm yes, gonna watch them so oh, and so back so and see yeah, yeah so and so works out eight times a day for seven hours and it's yeah. <laughs> just just they're just a, build a muscle machine. every hour yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah eats eats only fucking uh pistachios and, yeah. and kale they're chips vegan. like yeah. oh <laughs> like Damn. that so but for us and i think nfl is kind of like that but different um, where we just have niches, but I, I, I still don't understand why things are accepted sometimes, but they're not accepted others. It's a good question because it's not cheating because uh, it, it's uh, against the rules yeah. and everything you do. But you know, besides some powerlifting feds, I think don't even mention it. Don't, but but even tell. IFBB, which is the high level bodybuilders, which are clearly taking some kind of performance enhancing drugs, on their website it says they drug test. Yeah. Well, what are they testing for? And how I, I think it says. It in, well, yeah. I don't know what their actual protocol is, but their yeah. website says they test for performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. yeah. Well, after all those steroid scandals in baseball and all of those guys who who were popular in the steroid era, uh, all of the hullabaloo around that, the fucking congressional investigations and all this shit. A couple of years ago, the main sponsor of the playoffs and the World Series was a TRT company. Yeah, love it. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Uh. And that, I think that TRT has an it has had an impact. A lot of people who didn't know about steroids before, yeah, are kind of like, oh well, if your doctor says that's true, then it's probably okay. Yeah, but how many men are there in the in the stadium that see that and they go, oh shit, I might need to take that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, is that a legitimate sponsorship or is that like, oh, they're a sponsor of the MLB, so fuck them? Like, there's guys taking TRT. Is that what you're saying? No, I think Jim's saying that 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 uh, warmed up the pool for everybody to hop in. Yeah, kind of. Oh, 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 because when did they start sponsoring them? I think it was about three years ago that it was a big push all the time. It is. A, it's it, not going on right now. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, yeah. World Series starts in a couple of days, or tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So okay. we'll see who advertises yeah. on it then. But somebody had a major sponsorship deal like two or three years ago, and it was fucking every single yeah. game, yeah. like six times a game you would I think see people are commercial. Just, yeah, I think people are learning. I mean, TRT is somewhat... I mean, it's not new, but it kind of is new. To no, like it's people. way more common now. Yeah, They're talked about. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it, it's yeah. also weird too that it used to be, um, it used to be advertised to women, uh, not testosterone, obviously, but like yeah, hormone therapy, yeah, yeah, we, things. yeah, menopause, whatever, whatever. And then they found out that that was not the best thing, like yeah. from a health perspective, not the best thing for for women. And now it's become the best thing for men. Yeah, it's uh, just like yeah. a funny thing when someone pops now. I feel like where like Lance Armstrong popped or yeah. or Barry Bonds. There's a movie about it. They're fucking <laughs> demons. People yeah, yeah. thought you know yeah. like there's like yeah. protests yeah. saying how shitty humans they are, 
and, and I obviously fall somewhere in between this. Like I'm all super against cheating, and and I'm actually just not a huge fan of steroids in general. Um, but I don't think you're a shit person just because you decided yeah. to take steroids and fucking ride ride yeah. a bike race. Like it, there, I, th- there's yeah. other people murdering people and it, and, yeah. and do you know like morally, there's other worse things in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. the steroids is also just like it's just the playing field is pretty much a high percentage are using. Yeah. So it's like, is it really cheating? No, not really, because everybody else is doing it. It's almost like it I have to do this to guys. compete. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. then there's the guys that don't want to do it, the, that have maybe like the morals that don't want to do it, yeah. and they kind of, you know, fall to the wasted. But then again, like that's kind of on them. Well, that's then how you, I look at it. it. Well, and then you throw politics and business on that whole thing, and that's the big argument against uh, arguably the UFC and definitely CrossFit where they're, they do internal testing. It's it, it, maybe they yeah. hire like an independent yeah. lab to yeah. actually look over the substance, but it, they don't have a but third. It's not USADA. It's not a third party coming in doing that. And then if you've seen Icarus, which we did a podcast on, you know that USADA is arguably you uh, could be corrupt too, for all we know, yeah, right? Because true. there's so much politics involved. I think UFC uses WADA. I think they use water, yeah, but protocols. that's pretty. That's pretty new. I, yeah. I don't know if that's they like use water. Last like five years, right? I think like they use like water protocols, which CrossFit says as well. I don't think oh, they it's do not water. The same thing as using water labs. Yeah, and, no, and, I don't. And reporting the the results internationally. I don't think the World Anti Doping Agency has anything to do with the UFC. Well, the body type in like as we're talking about UFC, like the body type that you see in the UFC now is nothing like it was in like two thousand four. Yeah. 2007. Love me a little, bean, dude. Love me a little Vitor Belfort. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, what's uh, <laughs> All Star Al- uh, Alstair Alvarine? Love him too, dude. The uh, like the Chuck Liddell. Uh, what was the yeah. other guy he'd always fight all the time? That was just juice out of his mind. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, Tito Ortiz. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, Tito. dude. That guy's yeah. a walking. What about like, like Chael Sonnen though? He was pretty jacked, but I don't yeah. know if he was on anything. But it's also argued because yeah, by weight class, right? Like Chael yeah. fought at like yeah. 175. Like, I think oh, he just maybe. took good care of himself, to be honest. Yeah, it's possible. But, but then you but, got, but then yeah. you get the stuff where like now these people are and these athletes are all taking TRT that's prescribed, and then it's okay all of a sudden because of like this like script that they have now, right? Yeah. Where it's like, like anybody that's over a certain age that qualifies is probably taking it that's professional just because they're allowed to. Yeah. So yeah. it's like so what like. What are we doing here? Right. Well, and, and then I understand the political and business side, right? Like, are you going to knock your best guy who's selling the most tickets, selling the most jerseys? And mm-hmm. you can say, hey, man, you can't yeah. you can't fight or you can't throw or you can't use a barbell for, for five years because you broke the rules. But there goes my business. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the argument I hate the most is, like, they should let all the players in the NFL, MLB, use whatever steroids they can, fill them with whatever. I want to see how far that ball can go. And they're, like, they're half serious, half yeah, joking, yeah. but, like, they're like, yeah, I, 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 like, they believe deep down, like, yeah, fuck it, let them all take as many steroids as possible. And I'm like, if we go deep into that, I agree. If we could make it federally legal, so we could study it to a precise T, yeah, and so we they could, could f- take certain things. Or well, or you like have that. a doctor, yeah, you have a doctor doing it all, but we even have the lab studying what. Yeah. what doses are healthy for your liver and, and what conditions yeah. you may have genetically that won't lead to something bad if you take this stuff. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, uh, fuck him. I want him to rip his head off in the UFC yeah, with that's steroids. Really what like, well, it turns yeah. into like, yeah, someone's life can be in danger because right. someone yeah. is like yeah, CT physically. is probably yeah. a bigger problem across yeah. Yeah, all maybe. contact sports yeah. than steroids will ever be. Yeah. By themselves. That's yeah. That's yeah. a whole other thing too. It's like, why is CTE not talked about in UFC, where your whole entire yeah. goal is to give someone a concussion? Yeah. yeah. But in football, it's like this like big yeah. underlying problem. But it's, it's just not even talked around. about in boxing. Yeah. Or, what is being knocked out? Like yeah. your that's, brain is rattling. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's brain damage. That's how you. That's how you get CTE. <laughs> yeah. But then, like this yeah. whole sport is like dedicated to doing that. Yeah. To each other. Don't do steroids, kids.